Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Maybe your Corvette C8, like mine, doesn't have all the extra carbon fiber things that maybe you're hoping to have. Well, Extreme Online Store is gonna make that a lot easier for us today. We're going to do a demonstration of an interior upgrade in today's video. Let's go. Now for today's video to be successful, I'm gonna need two hands for the install. So I'm gonna hand over the camera to my lovely wife, Mrs. Dawn's life to take it from here. Okay, you all set with the camera? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is gonna be a fairly simple install. Like I said, I still wanna have two hands. Let's have a closer look at what we're installing. So over here, Extreme Online Store has sent us this carbon fiber gauge cluster cover. It's made with a 3K twill weave, which means it's 3000 filaments per fiber, which is gonna make this extra strong and extra durable. It's super lightweight, as you can see, it's almost paper thin. It's real carbon fiber, like I had said, and the appearance is top notch. I don't see any flaws. Ooh, look at these mats down there, so fancy. Now, when I built and ordered my C8, I had to stay within a budget, and unfortunately, some of those nice to haves, like extra carbon fiber trim, just didn't make the final cut. Now, the first thing we wanna do is clean the area that we need to stick this to thoroughly and properly. I'm using some isopropyl alcohol, a microfiber towel. I'm just going to spray the towel directly and then I'm going to wipe this gauge cluster as best I can. You notice the panel here flexes a bit. We want to get under there and I want to get all of the plastic that this is going to need to attach to. Okay, that should be good. So one thing Extreme Online Store has done ahead of time is they've actually put the adhesive or the double-sided tape in all the right places for us. It's gonna be simple for us because we just have to peel off the red backing and stick it in place. But before we do that, we should do a test fit just to make sure that everything is correct and we're not gonna have any issues. Plus it allows us to work on our technique. For example, I'm gonna to have to lift this piece up a little bit because if I'm trying to stick it in there when there's adhesive in that spot, I don't want that pressure pushing down, so I'm gonna to have to kind of work on my technique as I put that in. So for now, the test fit. Okay, the fitment is like a very, very nice. Like a glove, as you said. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy with that. It butts up right up against the screen. It wants to pull back a little bit, but once we have the adhesive there, it should be better. Okay, so I think we're good. We can probably start to peel some of the backing. So looking at the adhesive a little closer, there's gonna be areas where it's a tighter fit and it's gonna to wanna to stick and maybe get caught before it gets all the way in where we want it. And those areas are right here, or this flat spot on the bottom, this spot on the side here. Actually, that one's probably not too bad. So just this flat spot on the bottom, this top middle piece where it goes underneath this overhang right here. And then the bottom I'm not too worried about because it's at an angle, much like the sides, where it's just going to fit into place. And this is already on kind of an outward angle. So I think we should be okay there. So I think we're just gonna peel the whole thing and go for it, being sensitive to this bottom corner, as well as this top overhang. It's always about just getting it started, isn't it? Good thing you don't have my nails. I was just gonna say. <laughs> it's impossible. I just trimmed mine the other day. Probably painful for you guys to see on camera, me struggling with just getting this backing off. Could almost use tweezers. And we got one more little piece. The good news is if you ever had to replace the adhesive, it's cheap and it's easy. <laughs> it doesn't look easy. <laughs> it's hard to peel. There we go. Okay, wish me luck. Again, this bottom corner, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. And I'm going to push up here to get this started first, to get it in as far as I can. Just like that. So it's all tucked in here nicely. Tucked around there nicely. I'm just a perfectionist, so I'm trying to make sure that everything is in as it's good like as possible. That easy. I do. <laughs> I think I need a little bit extra 
tape right here, you can see we got a little bit of a bounce there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully pull it off. There we go. And we are going to add more adhesive right here. And don't worry, they give you adhesive so you can add as much as you want. So I've went ahead and I put a long strip right here, cut the backing off so you don't have to watch me struggle. And we are going to repeat everything that we had just done. There, I feel that's better. Look. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, I think that's all we have to worry about. And then that adhesive will bond better as it sits sandwiched in there for a while. Now right now we are in my garage so it's all artificial lighting. What I'd like to do is pull it outside even though it's an overcast day, get it into some natural light and then you have a closer look at it. Wow, I think that looks a lot better. We have the carbon fiber on here now. It used to be this black chrome. Now it actually matches the carbon fiber on the seats. And we got some more things planned. So I'd like to thank Extreme Online Store for providing this interior upgrade to allow for this video. I'd like to remind you that Extreme Online Store has several interior and exterior upgrades for many different vehicles and their catalog continues to grow. Check out their website. I'll leave a link to the carbon fiber gauge cluster cover that we installed today in the video description below. So stay tuned by subscribing to the Dawn's Life channel because we have more upgrades planned. Some are actually here, some are on their way for both the interior and the exterior. But if you like today's video, hit that like button and we'll talk to you next time.